Ohio. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Greta, and this is not what I usually make. I would probably say something like, I make BSL lyric videos, side by side tutorials, and chronic illness related content. That would be all a bit. And I will try to keep this on a positive note. I will. I really will. Um, but right now, I've got a horrible migraine. And I was just. I was just writing a journal entry. And. It gave like a prompt saying like your favorite quote or something and that reminded me of many things partially it reminded me of uh, the tattoo I have I don't know if you can see it from there oh, it's hard to move uh, it says Mindig von Balestar shot. It's Hungarian for you always have a choice. And weirdly enough, when I feel horrible like this, I feel like my brain wants to come out my nose. It helps. It does. Because it reminds me that it is an active choice to choose to keep going and it's not something that should be just taken for granted because we're living with chronic conditions especially if fluctuating can be feels like that you don't have a choice you just have to go with it and then you know sometimes people remind you that actually it is an active choice mainly by them saying that oh if I had chronic migraines or pots or fibromyalgia or whatever they would kill themselves <laughs> Which they mean as a compliment. It really, it really isn't. And it, if you say it to someone, just or if you said it to someone before, just just apologize to them, please, because that's just a horrible feeling. <laughs> like, are you saying that I should just kill myself, or I don't know. Anyways, but that those moments do remind me of that. I. I do have a choice. Why am I why am I filming this? You might ask. Because probably I'm visibly unwell. I can't really focus my eyes. I get horrible visual aura. Which means that I don't know, it kinda looks like it's it's like, my head is inside the snowball. You know, the ones you shake. And then the snow starts falling. It's like that, but like the glittery kind. That means I have to manually focus my eyes. Which is really tiring. So, I, it's hard to look into the camera, because... He just kind of wants to zone out. It's tiring to look. What was I talking about? Yes. Why am I filming? Good question. 
Probably because as I was writing the journey entrance, I was thinking about what to do next. And the one thing I do when I feel horrible is I saved a few of my favorite YouTubers videos. Um, she's called uh, Jessica Kirkgren Fozard. If you are not subscribed to her, just please do. Please do. She's 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 an amazing person. And she made a few videos while she was having a migraine attack. And seeing her and her talking just makes me feel less alone. Makes me feel I don't know, like someone understands. And watching her being in my green and being all foggy makes me makes me feel like that you know, it's okay. It's okay because look at all the amazing things she does whether she has a migraine or not. Not as like not as like an inspiration porn. But as in like this too short pass. As in like she has bad dates too. And I don't know. She also looks like it helps her to Talk to a camera. I don't know if that's right. And I don't know her personally, so I don't, it's not like I could ask. But I believe it might. So I thought maybe it will help me too. But another joyful thing is that because I've got. I've got a case of dissociation, which means when things get bad, <laughs> I don't remember them. It's especially true when I have a pot attack or I have really bad flashbacks with my PTSD or I'm just in so much pain that it's too much. Oh, because I just don't have enough blood in my head due to my pot that I just don't remember. I just don't have the capacity to remember. But because of that, I tend to minimise my conditions. And I'm hoping that if I do get around to editing it, I'll actually see what it's like and remember because it is a good thing to forget sometimes like I did tell I did tell my therapist once that dissociation is kind of like a friend It helps protect me. That's that's why it's that. But also, I know that people around me, especially my husband, who looks after me, he remembers, and he knows my triggers, and I know my triggers too. But often I don't realize how bad things can get. And he actively needs to remind me. I had an occupational health meeting this week. 
don't know. It's just... I always... Like, I feel like I only realise how disabled I am. When I have to... Like... Itemise it. And... It just takes a toll on me. That's why I'm dreading also that I will be assessed again for my PIP, which is the Personal Independence Payment in the UK, which is to support people with disabilities or long-term health conditions. And when I was doing the renewal for it, the uh, report that I had to fill it out, it was half a year ago now, I still haven't had it back. They, it, it just put me in such a bad place mentally. Because it makes, it makes you relive and makes you stare in the eyes of everything you can't do. And it's really depressing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm loving. And I am dreading if they all do the verbal assessment again. I think it might be too much. But what I feel most is that they'll take away the support I have. And that we need to go to tribunal and I don't think I've got the strength to fight it. I'm just so tired. I'm just so tired. And I'm just uh, sometimes at these points I find on my neck that if I push it, it makes me feel less in pain. But it doesn't seem to be working right now. Just love it when people say, oh, how does if you push here, push there, it makes your migraine disappear. And like, when they say it's like, I know it doesn't work for me, but obviously I just politely smile and say, thank you, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. But at the time, I don't mean it. Like, I know I already tried. No, it doesn't help. <laughs> but when you're in migraine, you just try anything. You just try anything to stop it. <laughs> it's not just the pain. It's it's the type of pain. I've got fibromyalgia. I've got pain everywhere, and it flares up. But it's the hardest to do it when it's in my head. It's just, it just takes over all your thoughts, doesn't it? I just can't disassociate from it. I made this a drawing to try and illustrate it. I'll try to insert it somewhere here. If you want to see it, if not, just, yeah, well, you're probably not watching this. Yet. I try to explain it to people what it feels like. Sometimes an image is better than a thousand words. Maybe it is. Maybe it is better. Just know well. I'm just tired. So tired. But yes. 
I am choosing to just push through it. I'm choosing to talk to you. I'm choosing to. Focus on what's coming. Focus on what's coming. By the way, I have no idea what the angle of this is. And my bear have been it all because the angle of the camera is off. I don't know if you can see the tatties. Yes, I am um, 23 and I still stay with my tatties. So what? <laughs> okay, I can feel that. I think my migraine is starting to chew my pot, even though I'm lying down. Oh, I'm getting really light. I think I need to pause here. Oh, no, stop here. I have no idea how I'll have to stop it. I just don't know. I don't know how to stop the recording. Anyways. If you are in pain. Or you have a migraine as well. Maybe you'll also save this video. For when you. Have a flare. Maybe it will help. I put links to the ones that help me. I know I would want to try anything. <laughs> but also be safe, because you know, the people like taking advantage of people like us. I think I did make a video about that. Over things to use when you have a migraine. I was just a bit of cod somewhere. I just don't have the energy to lift my fingers up either. Just up there somewhere. Oh, what was I saying? I was trying to say goodbye. Christ. Anyway, so. No matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. There's someone out there who. I might be going through the exact same thing at the exact same time as you are. You're not alone. You're not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. But thank you so much for watching.